All right, Steve, I want to transition into something I found incredibly humorous and enlightening and, and just telling. Uh, and it, it speaks to how far removed elites and politicians are from everyday Americans, from reality. Uh, they exist in a different world and they're faking everything. Uh, Vice President Kamala Harris uh, somehow got into a conversation uh, about the women's basketball tournaments, what everybody's talking about, and, and she thinks <laughs> there were no women's brackets until 2022. You can't make this stuff up, how stupid these people are and how really? detached from reality. Yeah, you, let's play the clip of Kamala Harris. Do you know, okay, a bit of a history lesson. Do you know that women were not, the women's teams were not allowed to have brackets until 2022? Think about that and what that talk about progress, you know, better late than never, but progress and what that has done. Because, of course, when, you know, I had a bracket, I'm, it's not broken completely, but I won't talk <laughs> about my bracket. But, you know, what? just the, how we love, we love March Madness. And even just now allowing the women to have brackets and what that does to encourage people to talk more about the women's teams, to watch them. Now they're being covered. You know, and, and this is the reality. People used to say, oh, women's sports, who's interested? Well, if you can't see it, you won't be. But when you see it, you realize, oh. You know, Whitlock, I'm beginning to think <laughs> she spent about as much time focusing in on college basketball, specifically the women's game, as she does on the border. My God. Uh, except... The border's kind of important, but I, I half expected her to say something like, you know, back in 1984 when I was at Howard listening to Snoop Dogg and N.W.A. and The Chronic in 1984, um, I was wondering, my God, it's really unfair that the women, they just have to, like, do a round robin, that they have to do shirts and skins and pick out teams after you get to 12 points. I don't even know what to say. I, I felt sorry for the guy doing the interview because if you corrected her, that thing is not going to fly. That guy would just get banned from media. He'd get the Acho treatment. I, I don't know what to say. This is, look, it's not an important thing because it's only a sport. It's just a bunch of bouncing basketballs. But it, it goes to the general cluelessness. And I hate to say this. No, actually, I don't. I'm proud to say it. Of this administration, they can't get anything right. Jeez. All right. You and I don't spend a lot of time talking sports politics on this show, but but I do want to, I, I sat there and watched this and I really did go, hold on, who is worse, Biden or Kamala? And, mm. and I'm going, I don't know, I, I don't know if I can pick a side here. Who's more clues? Who's more detached? Again, Joe has cognitive issues, but even before he had the cognitive issues, he was always a bit clueless and said ridiculous things. But I cannot reach a conclusion on which of these guys is a bigger blunder or potential blooper anytime you put a mic in front of their face. Okay. Is it Kamala or Joe? Jason, I'm going to say this. If this administration up top was a movie, it'd be dumb and dumber. It really would be. And you're right. At least old <laughs> Joseph, he's old. It's a weekend at Biden's. I get it. I don't even think he's running the country. I really don't. I think he's a symbol. He's a puppet. He's being propped up. So I don't even know if he's in charge, but I call it the administration. But again, if you go specifically to those two, taking away the other variables of age, gender, cognitive dissonance, all that, it's that old question. And I say it once in a while. What is worse, gonorrhea or syphilis? I'm not sure you want to have either, but I'm sure one is not quite as painful when you urinate as the other. I don't know. Neither is good. There's no right answer here, and there's no wrong answer, to be honest. Listen, I'm going to, I think I'm going to end up saying Biden is worse, mm. and, and here will be my justification. Most of the time that I see Joe Biden talking, he gets the assistance of a teleprompter, mm. virtually Anytime I see he's got a teleprompter and he's got a bunch of handlers around him. Most of the time when I see Kamala, Kamala talk, 
There's no prompter, and everybody that's on her support staff has run for cover and is making sure they're out of camera shot because they don't want to be responsible. So she's kind of left out there on her own, and she messes things up. She doesn't have a prompter helping her. She doesn't have an earpiece in her ear with someone giving her tips. And, and then the other thing, that, that and I'm saying this, this is not a joke. I'm saying this in all seriousness. I can see what Kamala's value used to be. And, and I'm saying it in all seriousness. Kamala was a thriller. She was an attractive woman that yeah. Willie Brown swore by. And, and, and uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, and so I oh can boy. see what her value was. And, put, and look, maybe she still got some game as it relates to that. So and I can find her value. She was attractive, and for her age, she's still relatively attractive. And you know, I think those tricks that she learned to that got her tight with Willie Brown, got her tight with uh, Montel Williams. Yeah, those things, those skills don't evaporate. They actually, you know, sometimes they get better over time. So you know, she still has value. Well, yeah, they say experience matters. And yeah, that, that Montel Williams scene, I don't know what function that was. They were on a red carpet and they're taking pictures. Montel, Montel had two women on his side. I was like, what? A two for one? Oh, like Montel had I think had one was his daughter. One I think was one daughter. was his daughter, I think. Was it? Okay, I think. all right, all right. All right, all right. I was about to say he had more game than Jesus Shuttlesworth, but okay, that's his daughter. It's his daughter, <laughs> but, um, you know. By the way, so Montel Williams. Okay, not so yeah. bad. Not even, okay, Montel Williams. All right, but I, I just <laughs> when, when when you hear her talk, you're like, my God, we are one stroke or heart attack away from her being in charge. Oh, jeez, a nightmare scenario, Jason. Nightmare. Help us grow the fearless army. Pound that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with all of your fearless friends.